We are going over programmatic queries in typical log logic log management intelligence. We will see a short introduction and then a practical demo. Typical log logic log management intelligence offers a simple REST API to run queries. The same query languages using the UI are used in this API. The life cycle of a query is very simple. First, we create it. Then, we invoke repeatedly to obtain all the results in batches. And finally, we delete the query. There is a Swagger documentation embedded in the application that allows you to learn about the API and also to try it out. Let's see it. Operations are classified by category. For each operation, we get a description, input type, and output type. Let's try with a simple query that will return all the events ingested in the last hour. I type the query in the same language that we use in the UI, and I leave the other parameters with the default values. I'm going to introduce intentionally an error in my query to see how the system reacts. And when we try it out, the query creation has failed with an error code and with a description of the error. Now let's correct the error and run again. The query creation has succeeded. And in the response, we have the query ID and the schema for the results. The schema is a list of columns that will be returned by this query. Each column is identified by name and a type. Let's copy the query ID and use it in the results API. This API allows me to get all the results for my query in batches. The only required parameter is the ID. For now, we will leave the rest of the parameters empty. And when we run it, we get the first batch. These are the columns that were reflected by the schema in the create operation. We can keep on invoking to get more batches, and we can see how the offset is increased. At the end of the response, we can see other variables, like any errors or warnings, the progress for the query, or the Boolean variable has more, that determines whether there are more results to collect or not. Once I'm done collecting my results, I can delete the query, and I do it with the delete operation. And now the query is out of the system. The same can be done with any programming language. Here you can see an example in Python. We first create the query and check for any errors. If the query creation is successful, we use the results API to collect the results in batches. For every batch, we will print the results. And at the end, we will print the source summary and any errors or warnings that the query might have produced. The REST API can be used to integrate the power of LMI with your own application. Thank you for listening.